guys what's up welcome back to simplified by jinarsha and in this video we're going to talk about epicac uh, the common name is epicac and the family is rubiaceae pretty simple uh, in this video i'm going to do the standard letter uh, terming a uh, assigning a letter with the symptom thing it is going to be easy it is going to be interesting and it will probably be a little bit longer but i can promise and assure you that by the end of the video you will be thorough with the drug okay so watch it till the end firstly we see the eye here i've drawn a glass full of water it is completely full because the patient says no thanks um the patient is thirstless there is thirstlessness with profuse salivation especially in pregnancy all right so this is the first symptom that is thirstlessness then we come to n n stands for nausea okay i'm not going in the same order but taking the important symptoms first so n all complaints are associated with nausea there is constant consistent persistent nausea with all complaints and the patient is not better by vomiting this is the key note that nausea is not better by vomiting uh it could either be white glairy with mucus or it could be green jelly like so these are the two types of vomiting seen in this drug we go ahead with enc here i've drawn a nice cupcake uh so there is ailments from in this drug which is from raisins cakes undigestible food and dainties so sweetish food uh there is desire for sweet and dainties and aversion to all food in general other ailments from which we can include here is suppressed eruption cunein anger and reserved displeasure so what you have to remember is that the e had a k which tells us about the ailments from and desire then the c the c stands for clean tongue okay and there is another thing from c that is cold sweat on forehead the tongue is clean there is profuse salivation there is no thirst there is desire for sweet and dainties and there is persistent nausea so far so good we move ahead this c this c is the other c here it stands for colic there is pain around navel the navel is the location uh, the sensation is cutting as from a knife i've drawn a knife here so there is cutting as from a knife it goes from left side to right side gripping as if intestines were grasped with a hand so there are two important sensation one is knife like and second is grasped with a hand colic and it is around the navel goes from left side to right side now we've got three new letters p a and a so first i think we should do with the last a which is related to git one thing which we know is nausea second thing is that there is asiatic cholera okay so asiatic cholera there is going to be diarrhea the diarrhea is a uh, grass like so this you have drawn your grasses here so green as grass or there could be that or there could be black frothy molasses ailments from remain same and it is indicated in all diarrheal diseases where there is green as grass or black frothy molasses uh, remember that the vomiting also had a green component green jelly like so that is correlation next most important thing that we come to in epicac is the respiratory symptoms so we have p and a p is pneumonia and a is asthma um epicac as a drug is indicated in early stages of illness so early stage of illness where chest is loaded with cough uh the but he can't expectorate so this drug usually comes in compare and contrast with antimony tart where the person can't really expectorate there is fine rattling wheezing threatened suffocation and violent contraction and constriction so these are the symptoms there is rattling wheezing because of course asthma and pneumonia there is threatened suffocation and violent contraction and constriction of chest and throat along with this of course since we told that all complaints are going to be associated with nausea and vomiting so here is a concomitant we have nausea vomiting as well as epistaxis 
aggravation motion and face turns blue simple basic rs complaints uh, you can note it down note it down here pneumonia and asthma being the two pathologies and now we are done with all the other letters first i would like to do with h because here we talked about epistaxis so h here is hemorrhage uh, and this is a hemorrhagic drug here there is bright red hemorrhage from all orifices it is profuse steady uh, orifices could be like uterus bowel mouth kidney nose or lungs so iris complaint is going to be associated with hemorrhage even gi complaint could be associated with hemorrhage provided the color is bright red okay the color has to be bright red uh, then we have this A. I have drawn it like bones. I mean, this drug has a lot of lettering than just uh, pointing a letter to a symptom. So it is good for people with photogenic memory. And it looks really pretty. I mean, see the colors and stuff, right? So A is paints as if bones were all torn to pieces. Important and something I think you might not really know about Epicac. Uh, and you might not remember about epicac that is the bone symptoms as if they were torn to pieces and lastly we come to you uh, this is the face which we say which we said that the face turns blue this is the stomach it feels relaxed as if hanging down child loses breath turns blue stiff strangling and gagging so strangling till either something i've made all right along with that we have intermittent dyspepsia every other day at the same hour so again i think this you might not be knowing about epicac so these are the extra pointers intermittent dyspepsia every other day at the same hour cold sweat we talked about um in the colic there is another symptom like each finger sharply pressed into the intestine which we did mention here so it's like each finger sharply pressed into the intestine flatulence of gall stones you compare this with antim crude for gi antim tart for rs and pulsatilla for gi as well this is followed well by arsenic and antim tart so epicac as a drug is in the initial stages of rs infections whereas Antim tart is the later and terminal stages, so it will be followed well by antim tart. But if ideally, if your remedy is right, if remedy is epicac, then you might not need antim tart in the first place. So yes, this is epicac for you people. We saw thirstless, pneumonia, desire for cakes, dainties, and ailments from the same as well. Clean tongue, asthma colic knife and your have drawn some fingers as well then this is the blue face hanging down of stomach broken bones as if torn to pieces persistent nausea hemorrhagic tendency asia de cholera with grass like stools all right so this is really very short it's within 10 minutes and we've completed the whole drug okay you can't do anything much faster than this so if you've understood the drug and if you've liked the idea, if you feel like this is really colorful and pretty to look at, then please hit the like button, share it with your friends and comment down your views below. Thank you.